Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be going ahead and checking out yet another legendary hat, this time for the Engineer. If you guys saw the previous episode that was uploaded over the weekend, you know that there's a brand new upgrade in the game right now called the Hot Summer Nights Upgrade that includes an exclusive, or as far as I know, exclusive legendary hat for the Engineer. We're going to be checking that one out today, so if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. But before we do, a lot of you actually let me know that when it comes to the 50 Rainbow Stars that come comes in that upgrade that even if you have over zero rainbow stars and you activate it, it'll just give you that amount over 50. So currently, we have 67 out of 50 rainbow stars. So we're gonna go ahead and spend as many of those as we can whenever we can. I don't know if we can spend them at the end of today's video because I don't know if the town hall is open. We'll find out at the end of today's video. But for now, let's go ahead and check which, you know, let's how we're gonna be showing off. Like I said, it's gonna be for the engineer. And we should, yep, already have it equipped. Now this hat is called the Swine Camouflage, and I have no idea what it does when the, uh, you know, we get a vanquish. We're gonna find out today as we go online with the engineer. So everything is looking nice and good here. We'll go ahead and get started with the normal engineer, and once we play him a little bit, maybe we'll move on to another one. Maybe like the mechanic or something. I'm always in the mood to play him, but we are playing offense, which is pretty good, because I can set up the uh, teleporters. But my main goal is to get a few vanquishes to see if we can't get this, you know, effect going on. Oh man, I have not played this engineer in a long time. Oh geez, oh there's Rose. Did you really attack me and just kept moving on? Am I not worth your time, lady? Come back here, come back here. Oh, okay, hold on. So we've already captured this point, so that's not gonna happen, but oh, there we go. <laughs> Does he sneeze? Oh, he sneezes. That's both cute and sort of gross. But what does that have to do with camouflage? I mean, I guess the fact that he's in mud, typically that is camouflage for a pig? I don't really know if that's what they're trying to get across here, but let's go ahead and try to get to the next teleporter. But that's sort of cute, the, the little sneeze sound. Achoo, achoo. Oh, there we go, throwing down the damage to this guy. Don't you stun me. There we go, we got that one. I see you over here. These people are really bringing it to me. Oh, that did stun you, okay, that's good. Jeez, we really bring some damage with this. Okay, we got two engineers who will make it there first. I gotta cut him off. No, stop slowing me down. Where are you? Oh, he's over here. Dude, we're both gonna get taken out here. Okay, yeah, we're both done for. Our greed, our greed is what destroyed us, not these plants. <laughs> the plants were just a middle man. Jeez, that was ridiculous. But I do like this hat, it's really cute. It looks cool. I think then, I'm pretty darn sure it's an exclusive to the Hot Summer Nights upgrade. I've never ever seen this hat before. I asked you guys in that previous video if you have seen it outside of this, you know, and nobody said they did, so I'm gonna assume that, you know, this is actually something you can only get by getting the Hot Summer Nights. Which is weird, because every other thing that you could get out of the Hot Summer Nights upgrade, you can get without, you know, like, without buying that, like, you know, the party characters, the rainbow flower, at some point you could have picked up the rainbow flower, and of course the rainbow star. So it's like all those kind of things you could have gotten outside of it. I guess maybe not anymore technically for the rainbow flower, but except for that, and of course his legendary hat. So if you don't have either of those things, you wanna grab them, it's definitely worth it if you you know like those kind of stuff. And also you get coins out of it too. I mean, depending on if you have any of that. If you don't, then you just get the prizes, but still it's even worth the prizes, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and just try to destroy you if I can. Ooh. Get back here, he is speedy. He's really darn quick. So I couldn't use the teleporter, but that's fine. We can still get some vanquishes, still make some you know, work happen here. Ooh, ooh, I got destroyed there. I didn't even see him. Maybe after a couple rounds or a couple uh, points captured, we can go ahead and try a, a different engineer. But I don't mind this engineer, he's nice and fun. So where's this chomper at? Because he's gonna cause an issue for me and all my friends. Oh geez. Okay, do you wanna play that game? Oh, you tried to hide. Not gonna work, now I'm gonna let my pig sneeze all over you. <laughs> Gross. And that makes like a weird doing sound. I don't know what that's about. Oh boy, oh yeah, okay, I can come across here. Just gotta time it well. And hopefully I did, I did, okay. I mean, it looks more like pizza cheese and lava at times. I don't know why, but that's how I just think of it. Oh no, come on, he knew. He knew I was coming by because he's just who I took out. Gosh darn it. I guess he got revenge on the pig sneeze. Because he sort of does a little bit of a sneeze depending on the goop you use. I mean, really, the gooping in general is sort of like a sneeze. Oh! Okay, I'm just pure unlucky there. <laughs> that was a good move by him, but it was just unlucky for me. Okay, maybe I should go around the left way, make it quick, hop on my jackhammer, just take out who I can. 
I just can't be in the middle of everything because the engineer just doesn't have too much health. He has 125, which really isn't all that tanky. So I gotta be able to be sneaky with it. Or just, you know, try to stay in the back lines and lob my attacks from far away. We'll try it, we'll try it. But yeah, I wanted to apologize because I haven't been getting many episodes of Gun of War for two. I haven't been getting many videos at all out the last couple weeks, but I've been trying to change that. Uh, I got a, a few videos out during the E3 week. That was a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, of course, E3 came and gone. I'm planning on making a video about the fact that there was nothing Plants vs. Zombies related at E3, but I'm still like sort of gathering my thoughts on it. I still don't know exactly what I want to say about it, but I'll be making a video about that on its own. You know, hopefully people are still interested in that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, there was no Plants vs. Zombies at all at E3. There was a lot of other awesome stuff that I'm super excited for, that if you've been watching my reaction videos and everything, you'll know that I'll definitely be covering. There's Plenty of other games coming out that I'll definitely be doing on the channel that I think will keep most of you super excited and happy. And of course, we're still gonna be playing Garden War for two and plenty of PVZ heroes. The new season starts the same day I'm recording this, so I'm definitely gonna be recording that. Um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanted to stream the new season, but unfortunately, I've been a bit too busy and I need to catch up on recordings. I see you, Mr. Chomper. I thought, is he not there anymore? No, he's there. He's right here, right? Yes, he is. There he is. I found him. I found him. Help me. Super brains. Help me. <laughs> you just watch that happen. Come on. Oh, well. At least we got level seven. <laughs> He's sneezing still. He's got the case of the sniffles. I feel so bad that the little pig is sick, though. I mean, hopefully that's not the case, and he just, you know, he's a chronic sneezer. I mean, even that's awful, though. I just, you know, I feel bad that he has to sneeze so much. I hope he makes a quick recovery. Hopefully, you know, the destruction of all plant life is exactly the antidote he needs. Because that's what we're trying for, isn't it? I think so. I'm gonna sneak across here. Ooh, okay, this is bad, this is bad. He impeached me before I could stun him. Ooh, come on. Darn it. I gotta use my turret a bit more. I, I sort of, you know, don't really realize that I have that sometimes as the engineer. I guess because I played a lot of engineer and Comparatively, in Garden War for one, then I did Garden War for two. So sometimes I'm always expecting it to be the, uh, the turret or the, uh, the drone or whatever. The drone, yeah, the drone, not the turret. The turret is what we have right now. Well, can I get you a little bit? I got that splash damage. There's an Iron Citron though. Everybody, scoot out of the way, please. Hmm. Oh, he's falling. Watch out for that Iron Citron. Jeez, these guys are not bad at aiming. I am. I'm awful at aiming. But these guys, they know what they're doing, and that's not good for me. Oh, she's definitely low, though. She's definitely low. There we go, we got her. That pig is sneezing. Okay, I see you way over here, buddy. Oh, you get the Iron Maiden out there. I throw out some damage to you, though. Should be enough to, you know, keep this momentum going as much as I can. I wanna die. No! Oh, come on, I almost made it. Okay, somebody's revived me, though, which is good. Because I don't wanna make this walk or the jackhammer ride all the way back up here. Oh, everybody's getting taken down now. I don't like it. I don't like it. I gotta take care of the cacti if I can because they're actually making this really difficult for me. Why is none of this landing? What is it hitting? Or is that just its shooting distance? Maybe that's just its shooting distance. Like it's going as far as it possibly can. I guess so because I'm definitely not hitting anything there. That was weird. Ooh. Because of course, most of these kind of shots definitely have like a maximum range. It would be cool if that was a character upgrade, but I don't think it is. Okay, maybe now it's time to move over to mechanic because I'm not doing so well as the engineer. Only nine vanquishes, yeah, we could be doing better. And mechanic was always my go-to in Garden Warfare 1 because he's a good darn class, what do you know? It's all you need is good classes to play and probably to get the teleporter set up every once in a while, but there's a ton of other engineers right now. Which, of course, the rare time I play Engineer is the only time anybody else wants to play Engineer, too. Because usually there's, like, no Engineers on my team. I'm gonna chuck that way over there. Did I land it? I did. Look at that. All right, see this pea shooter. He might be coming around the corner, which would be good. But he was waiting for me. Command OP, and he destroys me. I'm just really not good with Engineers. Like, I'm probably doing it all wrong. But usually my goal with Engineers and how I get all... Oh, wait, I forgot to put the hat on him. How am I supposed to play mechanic and show off the hat if I don't put the hat on? That's the whole point of the video. Silly zebra. But uh, usually my whole goal with gaining experience with the engineer is just to set up the teleporter and hope that works out for me. But I can't quite do that if everybody beats me to the teleporter. We haven't gotten to the legendaries yet. I've, it's like everything is so jumbled ever since they added sets. It's hard to actually find the legendary items. I missed them. Where did they go? I went right past them then. 
Like, I never know where to stop, because usually, you know, you don't see the Golden Diamond stuff until after the Legendaries, but with sets, they come before the Legendaries. It's just like, where is anything? I have no clue. We just have to try and find out, and there's already an Engineer beating me. Come on, stop. Oh, I can get you a little bit, though. Just a little bit, though, because the distance is a bit too far. Please don't shoot at me. You're shooting at me. You're not making this pleasant, are you? Come on, come on. Somebody just take care of that Engineer, maybe? Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. Come on. <sighs> Wish I could just have some some backup engineer entourage, but no other engineers. I'm the only one. That would be nice. I don't think it's gonna happen. Luckily, the other engineer got taken out as well. This is actually a pretty easy defense point for them. They literally have a gigantic wall to behind hide behind. So we'll get you a little bit. Come on, come on. I know that yeah, the, 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 that's not the only plant waiting there. Are right, you through your stun? I'll throw mine. Ooh, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. I guess maybe I'm not as good with the mechanic as I thought. Come on, come on. I know you're over here. Come on. Oh man, you're running. Okay, great. <laughs> I definitely haven't been playing much in the last couple days too, so that isn't helping my case too much. All right. And also, some people been asking. Uh. One of the questions that keeps popping up, because you know I keep mentioning that I haven't had as much time to play the last couple months as I normally do when it comes to Garden Warfare 2, how do I keep having a times two experience bar? And the answer is simple, I just earn it up before the video starts and then I just you know record the video. Because usually when I do have time to record, I usually at least have like an hour or so, so I just quickly earn up the times two and then I record the video. And usually that's what works out, but not always. I mean, I try not to record if I don't have times two because I don't know, I just think it it's, cooler when I do, I don't know why, that's just how I feel. But uh, yeah, that's what I usually do. And, and most of the times I can keep the times two very pretty easily, because even if I don't play the game, it only takes me two seconds to just press the on button on my console, and that counts. As long as you turn on the console and turn on the game once a day, you get to keep the times two. So as long as you do that, it's fine. So that's usually what I do is I'll turn on the game and just to keep the times two, and then I just won't do anything. Like I'll just you know leave it, because I'm doing other things. Let's toss that over there, because I'm getting sick of these pea shooters being all over the place. You're not doing anything. There you go. Oh, can you, oh, oh, goodbye. <laughs> Better luck next time, Zebra. Oh, gosh darn. So this hat is pretty cool, but I don't think it really makes or breaks the uh, the digital upgrade. And that's sort of something a lot of you guys let me know is your thoughts. It was pretty split. Some of you were saying it was worth it. Some of you guys were saying it wasn't. And that's totally cool. Of course, if you don't think it's worth it, definitely do not buy it. And it's good to have that kind of conversation. What is and isn't worth it. You know, here are the reasons why it might not be and why it won't be. That way, if somebody is undecided, they can go ahead and read those discussions and find out for themselves. So to everybody who voiced their opinion, thank you. I appreciate it. And I just think it's awesome. I think, I, I mean, it depends for me. I'm leaning on the side that it is worth it just because of the value you get, but I honestly think it's more worth it if you already have as much of the contents as possible, you know, already. Because that's sort of what happened for me. I already had the Party Citron and the Party Imp, and I already had the Rainbow Flowers. So right there, that was a guaranteed 300,000 coins for me. And that's actually really, really worth it because if you guys don't know, if you pay 9.99 in, you can just buy coins straight up in the game, and if you pay 9.99, you get 280,000 coins. So if you buy this digital upgrade, you're getting slightly more coins, coins, not corns. I would like more corns though. You know, if they had another corn class, that'd be nice. I know that's not happening though. But ah, no, that scared me. I wasn't ready for him. Where'd he go? Did you guys get him? I guess so. I don't know where his body went. This game is so confusing sometimes, but um, yeah, you get the 50 rainbow stars, you get the the 300,000 coins, and that's pretty worth it. And then you get this legendary hat, which I haven't found any other way to get, so I'm pretty sure you can only get it this way. I think that's pretty worth it. And like I said, it's the same price as 280,000 coins. So if you were planning on buying coins anyways, it's a good price, and it's worth doing. Okay, have that, friend. See ya. This guy and the fire pea shooter just like have an engineer seeking device on them that finds me every single time. Because look at how wide open this one specific area is. He could have gone any other way, but he just happens to go the same exact path that I went. Luckily, I spawned right in front of him to get my revenge. Sneeze on him, pig. I didn't get an assist or anything from that either. Like I almost took him out. <sighs> That's frustrating. Okay, okay. That was sneaky. I'll give him that one. That was pretty sneaky. Uh-oh, he's gonna he's gonna claim more zombies in a second. 
Oh yeah, he's still up there. He's still up there causing a ruckus. And nobody's stopping him. Well, then it's up to me. Oh boy. Where are you going? Hold on, don't you run! Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him stunned. Got him stunned, got him stunned, there we go. There's a vanquish for me. I appreciate it, game, thank you. Sneeze, pick you sneeze. I mean, I don't want you to sneeze, but it, it feels satisfying, because that means I did something right. I don't want to make this poor piggy's illness, you know, satisfactory. Let me go around this way. Yeah, this is where the teleport is. No! Somebody else got it! Really? <sighs> I can't catch a break. Well, I'm gonna at least set up the teleporters. Not teleporters, the uh, turrets. Don't tell me you got this too. Yeah, I thought so, buddy. Now, one thing I never really realized for the longest time is that you can actually upgrade these guys. Or at least you couldn't go to war for one. I don't know if you can go to war for two. We're about to find out. But after a little while, you they were upgradable. Maybe not going to war for two, because you definitely can't upgrade the rose ones. Hmm, let's get you. Ooh, chomper, get him, good. Let's see, can we upgrade this now? Uh, we cannot. So I guess they're not upgradable in Garden Warfare 2. What do you know? The things you learn when you try things. Okay, buddy, buddy, really? Yeah, chew me up. All you're gonna chew up is my my uh, jackhammer. Totally fine with that, because I get a free chomper vanquish out of it. Oh, well, I'm gonna get vanquished too. See, are we all that much different planting zombie if we both end up vanquished at the end of the day? I don't think so. I think we're more alike than we think. Uh-oh. Here we go, here's another chomper. There's so many chompers today, it's insane. I'm gonna hide right here. I know he's coming for me. Oh boy. But they don't know where I am, do they? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Oh, oh no, he does, he does, he definitely does. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, okay, I got him. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, he's waiting for me too. Gotta be careful. Sneeze, piggy. Ooh. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite engineer hat, though. I mean, I, I can't really remember too many of them. Like, I know, of course, there's the armadillo. Oh, you were waiting for me, too. There are too many chompers for my liking. This is really weird. Ooh, come on, get him, get him, help me out, help me out. Oh, boy, he, come on, he's making a beeline straight for me. Thank you, thank you for saving me. I appreciate it, that doesn't happen too often, it seems. But, I mean, I know about the armadillo legendary hat for the engineer. I don't remember any other engineer hat. Like, I don't know if that's because there aren't any or if because of that, you know, mediocre that I just don't remember them off the top of my head. But I think that's probably why this one is my favorite. It's super cute. I like the colors. It sort of fits with the engineer best out of anybody. For whatever reason, he's just sort of a dirty guy. Oh boy, that almost got me. Luckily, my keen sense of danger, my zebra senses, ooh. Did not lead me astray. Oh gosh, I might lead me astray here though. Oh, oh, two health. Go, get out of here, go, go, go. No! <laughs> what the heck, come on. He, did, he got me with the goob, I guess that's what sent me flying. I thought he just gave me a little chomp and that made me do a double, triple backflip. Yep, <laughs> that's what happened. Ooh, there we go, we got the assist there. We got level five, we started like what, level two? So that's a decent little turnaround. Got the reload upgrade, which is, you know, better than nothing. So can I get you at all? It's pea shooters and chompers. are <laughs> like the only two classes in the game right now, apparently. Plants versus pea shooters and chompers. The new game, coming soon. Oh boy, just gonna sneak around this way. Seems like there's plenty of zombie reinforcement for me to go around this way and be at least a little bit safe. There we go, we got you. Oh geez, I see the rows over here. Not too many of them are taking notice of me, but I was worried about that. Come on, no! I stunned him, you can see the stars around him. I knew that was gonna happen, which is why I turned around in preparation, but no, that wasn't enough for you, game. It wasn't enough. I gotta get my revenge on as many chompers as possible. They're all going down. I've had enough of chompers today. Too many. And there's been the occasional cacti as well. Throw it. The same thing just happened twice. That, that one was more my fault that time. But the previous one was totally not my fault. You gotta have a balance in life. And that's my balance. One of them was my fault, the other one was not. Well, let's get you if I can or not. But it does really confuse me that this uh, new digital upgrade came out now because the digital upgrades always come in sync with the holiday events, so far at the least. You know, last year we had the Feast of Us upgrade that came with Feast of Us, and then last month we had, whoa boy, the birthdays upgrade that came with birthdays, but this one does sync up with the Hot Summer Nights in name, but the Hot Summer Nights doesn't start for like another couple days or to a week. 
and it's just like weird. So I was just like weirded out that it you know started so early. I don't know if that was a mistake. You know, like they didn't mean to, and obviously now that people have bought it, it's sort of too late. Maybe that was the case, or just you know they just wanted to try something different, make it available a little bit earlier. Who knows how long it's gonna be available for? Some people sort of forget that these things are available for only a limited time. I think some people were saying they're still planning on buying the Feast of Us upgrade, which isn't available anymore. So it's just like, guys, if you wanna buy it, make sure you buy it soon because it might not be available forever. I'm going to assume it's not, especially since it's focused on the Hot Summer Nights, you know, event. I'm gonna assume that it's not gonna last for longer than that. Thing is, is we have no idea how long the Hot Summer Nights event is gonna last, do we? Well, we might. I don't know if it shows the end date or not. Maybe I should check between rounds or something. I'm sure it does. Like it doesn't show it on the calendar itself, but I'm pretty sure if you like put your mouse or cursor or whatever over the what's it called the uh, the event itself, it should tell you the date. I think that's how the calendar works, but it's been a while. But I think it's gonna be a fun event. I have a good feeling about it for some reason because last month was a good event and it came out with its own digital upgrade. So hopefully a digital upgrade is a sign of a really good event because the Feast of Us was good as well. Let's, let's stun you, buddy. Come on, come on, take you down, take you down, take you down. Ooh, oh no, hold on, hold on. I just really don't know what they're gonna do for it. I mean, they might just do their rinse and repeat, do the same thing that they did with Feast of Us and with, um, Eastern, the uh, what is it? What was the Easter event called again? This this springening. That's what it's called. Maybe they'll do the same thing they did with the Feast of Business springening, where they just have a bunch of customizations that you can unlock every day. I really hope it isn't, because that is a lot of fun, but it is also a lot of like sort of busy work, and I don't appreciate that a ton. Uh, but that's why I would really, I, I think it's finally time that they do a double coin or a double XP weekend, or not even a weekend, but you know, like a holiday event. That would be so cool, and I know so many people would play so gosh darn much. So I think that they should. Like, they really, really should. I can only hope that they do that. Oh, you don't know I'm here. You do, though. You do. I haven't been using my turret at all, but honestly, you know, when we're on the attack team like this, it's hard to find a good spot where we can just sit down and use it. Oh, boy. Running back all the way up. Oh, I was getting heals there. Heal me up, heal me up, heal me up. Heal me up. Or not. You were healing me before, and then I ran away. Maybe it's my own fault, then. I did this to myself. Oh boy. Who can we get? Currently nobody. We damaged the rose a little bit, which is better than nothing for sure. Oh, get the iron citron if I can, because he's gonna be a pain in the booty. He's gonna hit me. No, he won't, because I damaged him too quick. I hear people like shooting at me. I just don't really see him right now. Hmm. Oh, I see you. Get some damage there. Got another vanquish. See, that's where the turret can be helpful. It's just you don't run into that situation all too often. Oh boy, where is he, where is he? Oh no, okay, wait, my jackhammer is gonna save me for this one, which is good. And then the all-star helped me out, good, good, good. Throw that there, because I know you're here, buddy. Take you down, are the zombies gonna win? I think they are. This is pretty good, we got a times six vanquish. If I can get a times 10, I know I get a quest done, but as soon as I say that, of course that curses me, and I get vanquished, but that's okay. I'll get it eventually, you know, as long as he's there. That's all that really matters. But we got 30 seconds to go. Will we be able to destroy this? It's actually gonna be pretty close. I know that ever since they balanced the timing of this map, it's actually been a pretty balanced map overall. You know, sometimes zombies win, sometimes plants win. I like how balanced this one is. I mean, I'd almost argue that this is probably the most balanced turf takeover map. It's definitely one of the coolest as well. Oh, we gotta push that a little bit more. Oh no. I just couldn't even see what was going on there. Too much action for me. Some of these enemy team players, though, have like vanquished me so many times. Okay, so we did actually push it, now we just gotta kick the gate down, which can be the toughest part at times. Hmm, who can I even get here? No, boy! I did not like that. Ooh, trying to damage who I can. I think all, all I'm hitting there is the all-star shields. I'm just sort of hoping somebody moves into my frame of vision. That would be appreciated, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oi, get you, get you. That was like 10 damage. Whole 10 damage. Ooh, oh, who did that? Was it you up there that was a rose in the window, I think? That was a good shot. <laughs> I gotta give him some props. Oh, geez, this is not good. They are really starting to turtle up here. Ooh, throw down the stun. Get rid of at least like one enemy. Oh, I can't even do one. Nope, not at all, that was an awful life. I didn't get anything done there. 
We got a couple seconds left, and we lost. Darn, it was pretty close though. Like I said, it was a good round. We got a good chunk of Engineer Vanquishers towards the end, definitely as a mechanic. So some good fun happening there. And there was, of course, a look at the Swine Camouflage hat, which I think might be the best Engineer Legendary hat. So here's one last look at the Swine Camouflage Legendary hat. A very, very cute and cool one. I like it a whole big bunch. And one of the big perks of buying that Hot Summer Nights upgrade. But yeah, that's where we're gonna be finishing things off if the Town Hall is not open. So let's go ahead and check for ourselves. It is open. I don't know if there'll be any chests available though. So we're gonna go ahead and find out together and see if we can't spend any of our current, uh, Okay, so the, with the big ones, the important one is open, which is the 50 star chest. We'll open that one up for today and see what we get inside. It looks like a bunch of coins, of course, but what three items will we get? Let's find out. Ooh, open, open. So this is a, sort of technically the last piece of something we have to open from the, what's it called? You know, the thing, the uh, Hot Summer Nights upgrade. But this is the Silver Artsy, which is a uh, silver item. Hand Scanner, which is a new gesture, which I'm always looking to complete the gesture, so that's nice. The Zombie Flick Set. So I think that's the first piece for me for the Zombie Flick Set. So at least we got something started there. Very, very cool. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Pig, so I know you've watched it in the video, and you were a Zebra Task viewer. But also, if you enjoyed this video you can go ahead and click on some of the ones you see on your screen right now and maybe you'd enjoy those ones as well but for now thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye bye